it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope you're doing great and let's get straight into what is happening. So as we can see, there's only one disturbance being highlighted on the National Hurricane Center's map and that is the disturbance associated with the front where that airflow pressure may eventually uh, break away from the system and actually gain some tropical characteristics and uh, become a tropical or subtropical cyclone. So let us get into what is happening, the latest forecast, and also uh, talk about conditions out there. So we're looking at the satellite imagery of the Atlantic there. You can see that front, which is extended from Mexico all the way out to the northeast. And we can see that other one out there. Now that disturbance is in association with all that activity that I said may eventually break away from the rest of the front. And it is going to be making its way into warmer water as well. That will be helping to boost some activity activity eventually we could have it uh, occurring the necessary characteristics to be classified as a subtropical cyclone and down in the caribbean let's zoom in here we can see this blob which is developing to the south of jamaica that's in association with previously known invest 99l but again that is off the map as development is not expected however this what we're seeing right here uh, once the system continues toward the west and something like this happens closer to the coast of Honduras and Nicaragua, it is likely that there will be periods of very heavy rainfall. This could trigger flooding rains across some areas should there be a burst tub of convection such as what we're seeing right now. So yes, it's unlikely to develop. However, it may produce a lot of heavy rainfall which may result in flooding. But elsewhere across the Caribbean, we can see that much is not happening this morning. And looking at the map of the dry air, here we can see a lot of dry air right now across sections of the Caribbean which is represented by those yellows oranges reds and even those pink shades as well so a lot of dry air is helping to stabilize atmospheric conditions where we don't see a whole lot of convection popping up but uh, eventually as I mentioned yesterday as we're going to be heading into the early part of December uh, parts of the Caribbean may experience above average rainfall activity with those fronts making their way down from the U.S. And then now let's go ahead and talk about the rainfall forecast for today. So here we are and those shades of yellows, oranges, reds, they indicated those uh, higher amounts of rainfall even going to the burgundy and purple shades as well. We can see that for sections of Mexico and over in the Bay of Campeche, even for sections of Guatemala and southern Belize, there may be some rainfall activity but that's not going to be the case for the majority of persons. Things will be on the drier side for most of Honduras and El Salvador, even for the Bay Islands, although there could be some rainfall activity at times. From Nicaragua going to Costa Rica and Panama, there could be some rainfall activity across some areas. Same story for sections of Colombia, Venezuela, and even into Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. For Trinidad, Tobago, there's likely to be more rainfall activity as we head through today, and there may even be some periods of some heavy downpours. And we know that a lot of heavy rain in a short amount of time can result in flash flooding. So please be mindful of that. And wherever that should happen, please do not take any unnecessary risks. As we head toward the ABC Islands, much as not expected, it's the same thing through most of the Lesser Antilles. Uh, but going toward Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, there may be a bit of rainfall activity moving through at some point today. And that is likely to also be the case for the Virgin Islands and even parts of Puerto Rico. And there could be some showers moving through portions of Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, even the Cayman Islands as well. And things are likely to be pretty much on the dry side today for the Bahamas. So that is what is expected. And uh, now let's go ahead and talk more about the disturbance. So if you notice, the formation chance has slightly decreased. But uh, compared to my previous update, this X and uh, where that shaded area is, they were actually not so far apart. So it's likely that we'll eventually see development take place of the system. We may see some tropical cyclone and the next name is Vince. But it is likely that that won't be happening imminently. So as we head to the weekend and even into early next week, that is when we could see something try to form. Models are pretty much in agreement about that happening and showing some strengthening of the system as it makes its way out to the north 
east. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on it, especially for the Azores up there as there could be impacts. But uh, as of right now, that formation chance is at 50%. And so that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update video. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be with the wise.